This is Michael at BigMoneyFishing.com and today we're fishing for carp. I'm gonna get another camera so I don't have to stand. I, I understand that some of you guys hate when I stand with these fish, but I'm not gonna drop him, her, him, I don't know. So this is our first fish this morning. Um, I tried something different, I'll show you here in a second. It's very rocky here, so I, this time I put my uh, pole, my line on a bobber to hang it just off the bottom so the weight wouldn't be touching the bottom. And this one took that bobber down and the whole pole down. And so I'm not gonna weigh this fish, I don't know, three, four pounds. But it's a fish, and let's get back out there, and um, we're gonna get this fish released. All right, let's get this fish back out there. All right, today I just want to show you what I'm doing. You see, I put a bobber, a three-inch cigar sinker on there. It's weighted 
because this is a very rocky area and I keep getting snagged my rocks my sinkers keep getting snagged on the uh, rock so this is sitting on the bottom but this is just kind of an indicator to let me know um, it's really just to give me some distance and it's uh, it's weighted so it's not laying flat so maybe I should go with one that's not weighted so it'll lay flat and so I'll know it's on the bottom but what's happening is like for instance right now I have this little uh, eggs I don't you probably can't see the split shot on here this little split shot on here and that's getting caught in the rock so I'm gonna take that off just put corn on the hook this is a number uh, six circle hook uh, octopus style hook and load it up with corn and let this give me the distance out there but then it's keeping it off the bottom and I'm not getting snagged up or so I hope we'll see I'll get back to you While we were shooting that, a pole was going down and we caught another carp. So let's see what we got going on here. so that's fish two this morning um, I chummed this spot with uh, crack field corn about 5 30 this morning it's probably about 6 15 now if I had to guess this was not caught on the bobber rig this is just my regular very small split shot rig um, a number six circle hook octopus style hook loaded up with corn um, that little bugger while I was shooting that other video wasn't even noticing that my pole was going down so Thought I had a bell or something, I don't know. So, um, this is Michael at Big Muddy Fishing. Today we're catching carp, obviously. So, uh, let's get this one back. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. I estimate this to be, I don't know, three, four pounds. I'm not gonna weigh these small fish. Let's get it back. Not what we're expecting. It's a largemouth bass on uh, corn. I guess all fish like corn. That's part of the problem fishing with this. Everyone likes corn, so we have to go up there with my other pole. That fish got off and I didn't have that drag set too tight. Look, so we'll get him again. I'm gonna get you, buddy.
morning and that one took me under a rock. And my chum is working. Fortunately, bluegill like uh, corn too, so he swallowed the hook, so see if I can get this out. I may have to go back to the non-bobber thing. I know that works, but the bobber thing works too, so we'll see. This uh, guy just took my uh, bait. But at least I can, one thing is I have some indication with the bobber that something's happening. I'm not just sitting there wasting my time. Cut the hook.
right, so here's our third fish, and this one's slightly bigger. I'm not gonna weigh him either. Maybe I will weigh him. We'll check my scale, and I'll show you how I'm doing this scale. So this was just carp. Uh, I don't know, common carp. He was on a number uh, six hook, just loaded up with corn, octopus style hook, um, circle hook, number six hook. Loaded up with corn, very small split shot because I'm in a rocky area. Let's get this fish weighed. I'm guessing four to five pounds, and I'll show you how I'm gonna weigh him now. Okay, so what I got here is an Ikea bag that my friend Angie bought me from Ikea. Plastic bag, cost 99 cents. You can get these on Amazon. I'll put a link down below, but if you have an Ikea, go grab you a couple. I just have a luggage scale here. I turn this on. Bag weighs nothing. We're gonna put the fishes, the fishes in the bag. And uh, I'm just gonna, so that fish is, about six pounds so six pound fish and that's all you have to do get yourself an IKEA bag let's get this fish back All right, so I want to just shoot my outro because I don't want my battery to die. Um, we caught uh, three carp, a six pounder, probably some four or five pounders. I want to shoot my outro so my battery don't die. So would appreciate if you would click that subscribe button, leave comments, hit the notification bell. That way you'll know when we release new content. Um, I'll splice this in. If we catch another fish, I'll make sure it gets in the video. We'll see you out on the banks. Type lines. Go to my blog at BigMuddyFishing.com and there is a YouTube link there to get back to this YouTube video. We'll see you later. This is Michael at BigMuddyFishing.com.